I'm a landscape architect and one of the things we completed re recently were heritage studies of many of Melbourne's inner city parks. And Latrobe Bateman had a fantastic vision when he reserved land around Melbourne for public open space. And throughout history that land has been compromised. It's, it's been compromised by development along Royal Parade and along St Kilda Road, each of which have eaten into our parks. And from the very beginning of his establishment of that open space, we have, as a community, nibbled into it for various reasons. Sporting facilities and hospitals are the latest. But the thing that's interesting is that these wonderful parks are the envy of other cities in Australia and have such fantastic open space within a city centre, so close to the city centre, is absolutely fabulous resource. Now just looking at this park and studying it at the same time that I was studying Fitzroy Gardens, what was really interesting was to see the contrast in the way in which those parks have been treated throughout history. That Fitzroy Gardens as an adjunct to the fashionable housing of East Melbourne was laid out as a wonderful classical park. Because of the social pressures that came from Fitzroy Gardens, you could never imagine that being given over to car parking. You could never imagine that being given over to sporting facilities like the MCG. Tradition, the reason that this was ever used for car parking was because there wasn't the same community pressure. And so it's, it's really important, I think, that Richmond residents try and reclaim this as their piece of space because times have changed and it's not appropriate anymore for people to park cars in facilities like this. Summers are longer and it becomes more and more difficult to establish really effective tree plantings. And yet here we have the remains of planting, some of which dates back to the 19th century. The biggest enemy of trees is compaction. Just feel the ground here to realize how compacted car parking makes ground. Trees become a focus for parking, which in fact becomes the most damaging thing that can happen to the ground around them. The compaction reduces oxygen from their root zones and leads to decline of the trees. So there's many, apart from the, the social reasons of having a park, there are good biological reasons why parking shouldn't be present in these, in these parks. I was on a committee that the City of Melbourne had in the 1990s, and one of the priorities in our agenda, nearly every meeting, was how can we reduce damage in Yarra Park as a result of car park. So there is not only the City of Melbourne's councillors determined to try and stop it, but also people that they've received professional advice from have been giving them the same message. It really needs to end. Thank you.